What's up, Pastor Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a low-impact HIIT workout with dumbbells. This is a great routine for beginner through intermediate trainees because you can adjust the difficulty level by increasing or decreasing the weight used. You'll find no jumping and no repeat movements in today's session. If you're ready to go, let's get started. Let's begin by warming up our bodies with what's called a hamstring sweep. Let's place our right foot out with that left, right leg straight, slight bend our left knee. And we're going to sweep our arms over as we hinge at our hips and stand straight up. Now left straight leg goes out, so alternating right and left legs. Big sweeping arm motion here. Feeling that stretch in our whole posterior chain from our calves, hamstrings, glutes, even lower back. Feeling that nice big range of motion in our shoulders as well. We like these efficient moves in our warm up. Big bang for our buck here, working multiple muscle groups and joints in one move. And again, this is the warm up, so let's make sure we're moving at a warm up pace for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Next up, let's warm up our hips with a side leg swing. We're gonna hold on to the wall, but you could use a chair, countertop, uh, really any implement just to help you with your balance. Now with my left leg, I'm gonna keep my hips square. I'm gonna bring my left leg in, straight leg up. So full range of motion, opening that hip through abduction as well as uh, adduction. Now your flexibility may be better than ours, maybe we'll get that leg higher or not quite as high as us. You decide what's appropriate for you as far as how high that leg is coming, but open up that hip for three, two, one, zero. And I'm sure you saw this one coming. We need to do the opposite side now. So we're just gonna flip over and now right leg, bring it in and up. Again, full range of motion on that one. As that leg comes across your body. And then nice big swing up, opening that hip. Feeling that stretch, your inner thigh through the hip. Even that stationary leg is getting a good little burn there. Yeah, good stability work for that stationary leg as well. Making those glutes work here in our warm up. Three, two, one, zero, and relax. One more warm up move for you here. We're gonna do a chest opener and a march in place. Let's start with our arms in front of us. Hands are together. Now let's start marching in place. Knees are up. And at the same time, we're gonna open those arms up, keeping the elbows at a 90 degree angle. Trying to test that full range of motion on your shoulders and chest. Bringing the hands together, but also if you can, try to bring those elbows together as well. And then when you're opening your arms, like you're pulling back, like somebody's behind you, pulling back on those shoulders and elbows. It's a little bit of a pat your head and rub your belly as well, <laughs> making your brain multitask. Getting our heart rates up, almost ready. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, shake it loose. That was a warm up. Feeling warm, feeling ready to go, Claudia? I'm ready, let's All do this. Right. All right, I like it. Okay, so as we said in the introduction, no repeats today, so we're gonna do every move 
one time. And it's a hit workout. So we're going to go full intensity in that one set. We're going 30 seconds of work in that one exercise. And then you get 15 seconds of rest before we move on to the next one. All right, let's do it. We need two dumbbells for the first one. We're going to do a reverse grip bent over row. And so this one, a heavier weight used for this one. Um, you know, if you're looking for some suggestions, palms are forward, bend over on a 45 degree angle, back is tight, abs are locked in, pulling back on my elbows, and then bring the dumbbells back down. Now we're gonna get as many in as we can in that 30 second time period. Let's do it together in three, two, one, and pull. So it's a good pace on this one. Ooh, it's gonna be intense. That's right. Let's do it. And again, on any of these moves today, increase the difficulty level by adding more weight or decrease it by decreasing your weight. It's a great thing about dumbbells. Don't forget to breathe through this movement. No holding our breath today. Pulling back on those elbows every rep. Three more seconds in three, two, one, and break. All right, this next one, we don't need our dumbbells. So you can set them down to the side. We're gonna do what's called a squat plus reach. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat down as deep as we can. If you can touch the floor, great. If not, it's all right. And then reach overhead, squat, reach. How many squats can you get in 30 seconds? We're about ready to find out. Ready and go. Down, up. Try your best not to lean forward on this one, but really drive through the midfoot, sitting down. And you may not be able to touch the ground and that's okay. We want you to focus on good form here and pushing through that midfoot. Again, everybody's different. Make today's workout work for you. 10 more seconds, let's go. How many can you get? Burning those legs out already, I like it. Here we go, in three, two, one, break. All right, next up we're gonna do an arm crossover plus butt kick. Let's start with our arms out at our side. I'm gonna bring my arms across and then bring my right heel to my right glute. Now opposite side, alternating right and left butt kicks while also alternating which arm is on top. Ready, Whew. and go. So fast pace on this one. Get that heart rate up. It's not a break here. This isn't time to relax and go at a slow pace. That's right, you can relax when it's over. <laughs> I like that. Keep pushing it here again. It's a hit workout, only one set of this. Trying your best to bring that Five heel seconds. all the way to the glute. Almost there and break. All right, we are gonna head to the floor for this next one. We're gonna do a right side plank. So we'll do the left side later, but right now, just the right side. I'm gonna be on my right forearm. And I'm gonna, yep, sorry, I'm on the right <laughs> forearm too. <laughs> and I'm gonna be on my feet. <laughs> and I'm gonna be on my knee, as you see with my left leg extended. You decide which variation is right for you, getting started right now. And we're just gonna oh, hold. Oh, that's it, 30 seconds of holding. Breathe. Make sure your elbow is right underneath your right shoulder. And you can have that opposite side hand, it can either be on your hip, or in the sky, doesn't matter, it's up to you. But you want a nice straight line from that shoulder down to the knee, down to your feet. Yep, and just hold it here. Almost there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep that core tight. And three, two, one, and break. All right, relax. All right, we're back up on our feet and we need two dumbbells for a reverse dumbbell curl. We're going to start with our elbows locked in tight to our side, shoulders are back, palms are facing down. Curl all the way up, all the way down, keeping those wrists nice and tight and locked. We got 30 seconds for this curl. Ready, set, hit it. Shoulders are back, full range of motion. We're going fast, but that doesn't mean I want you to just allow your arms to flop back down. Still needs to be under control and keeping that tension. Woo. You might start out fast and you might just start to slow down just a tiny bit. Yeah, and that's all right force, too. Don't forsake form. Keep those wrists nice and locked. That's it. No momentum on those curls. I don't want you doing this number here. Exhale as you bring them up to your shoulders. Not much left. In three, two, one, and break. All right. What, 
We're gonna do a reverse goblet curl, I'm sorry, reverse goblet lunge next. Sorry about that. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. And I'm gonna use no dumbbells for this movement. Shoulders are, are back, hands are at our chin. I'm gonna step back with my right leg, drop both knees and then come back up. Then left leg, drop both knees, come back up, alternating right and left sides. Ready, set, hit it. And that 15 second break doesn't give me much opportunity for explanation there. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta be to quick. Trip over my words too much today. And notice I just, just keeping my hands in this praying position. That way when I am ready to add weight, this is already a natural, comfortable feel for me for that goblet squat. You know, in your body, you got natural body weight going too. So even if you don't oh, add yeah. a dumbbell, you're still using weight. Don't bounce that back knee up off the floor. Five more seconds. And break. All right, we need two dumbbells for the next one. Maybe a lighter dumbbell than on that one. We're gonna do a seesaw neutral press. So our core tight feet, hip width apart, dumbbells at our chin. I'm gonna press up with my right arm. And then as that right one's coming down, my left one's going up. So that's that seesaw motion. Yep. 30 seconds. Ready, set, hit it. Core stays tight throughout. Getting a full range of motion. That means getting that dumbbell all the way up overhead. Yep. Press it straight up. Ideally finishing with that Woo. bicep by your ear. Ooh, they're burning. We're feeling it too. Come on, tribe. Let's get it. Not much left. You got five seconds. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Right Ooh. to the end. And five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, let's give those Ooh. shoulders a break. You can set your weights down. We got a hot feet next. So it's as the name ins insinuates, we're just gonna go hot, run in, hot feet, run in place. Get those arms moving too. How many steps can you get in 30 seconds? Let's do it. Let's find out. Ready, set, go. Get that heart rate up here. And if you're feeling really good right now, heart rate's a little low, you can turn this into Ooh. a high knee. Oh my goodness. We'll leave that up to you or low hot feet. You decide what's most appropriate for you at this time of the workout. Come on. But make sure you're challenging yourself. No change without being challenged. Come on, you got it. Let's, Let's go. Do you it. got five more seconds in five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we need two dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna move to the floor and perform a lying dumbbell chest press. So a heavier weight for this one. Moving down to our backsides, lying down on our backs. My elbows are in at about a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna press all the way overhead, control the way down, and repeat for 30 seconds. Ready, set, hit it. Exhale as you bring those dumbbells up over your chest. It's about speed on this one, let's go. Keeping that lower back locked into the floor here. Do not bounce your arms off the floor, we call that cheating. That's cheating, don't cheat. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. How many can you get here in 30 seconds? Come on, you don't have much luck, about eight more seconds left. Come on, finish strong, tribe, finish strong. Let's go. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice. We're gonna stay on the floor for the next one. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. And I'm gonna move my dumbbells out of the way, none for me. We're gonna perform a hip up. I'm gonna place my dumbbell right here on my hips. My feet are firmly planted on the floor. I'm gonna drive off of my feet, squeeze my glutes at the top, and come back down. We got 30 seconds, ready. Begin. Just pushing through that heel. Sometimes it helps when I bring my chin down to my chest. So just to make sure I'm not overextending my pelvis and my back, that's gonna really kill your lower back. And if you start to feel your quadriceps, that big thigh muscle take over, bring those feet closer to your butt and backside. Exhale. As you come up. For three, two, one. Zero, all right, no dumbbells needed for the next one. We're gonna hit that other side of our side planks. So we're going on to our left forearm now. And again, I'm up on my feet. I'm on my knee. And begin. Core stays tight right here, working that inside oblique. Also working your, your hips, your glutes, your medial outside glutes on this one are getting work. Shoulders Ooh. getting work. 
transverse abdominis, that deep, deep inner core muscle is getting worked as well, just holding you in this position. That's right, that's why we say we like these exercises that hit multiple muscle groups. That's right, especially those deep ones that you don't get very often. Not much left in five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna come down and we're moving to our feet. Next, we're gonna do an overhead march in place. I am gonna use dumbbells for this one, not super heavy. I'm not gonna use any dumbbells, I'm just gonna use my hands. Starting with both our arms straight up in the air. Core is braced and tight. Now alternating right and left legs. You decide if dumbbells are appropriate for you or just body weight, but we're doing it here together. Ready and begin. Another excellent anti-rotation abdominal move. It's gonna work that core. You can really feel it just to lift those legs up. Ideally, you're bringing your thighs up until they're parallel to the floor. If you can get them that high, and with or without dumbbells, this is gonna burn out those shoulders. Oh yeah. Whew. You have about five more seconds left. Oh good. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we do need two dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna perform a dumbbell reverse tricep kickback. Triceps are that big uh, three, group of three muscles in the back Ooh. of the arm hence the name tricep. We're gonna bend over on a 45 degree angle. Elbows are up parallel to the floor. And now we're just going to extend the arms, full range of motion here. 30 seconds, probably a lighter weight on this one. Oh, yeah. Ready and begin. Again, we don't wanna swing. We want full control throughout the move. We also wanna keep that upper arm locked in place. So it's not here. But notice how my upper arm is not moving. Doing all the work. Yeah, just flexing at that elbow. That elbow joint's what's moving. Come on, not much left, eight seconds. Feel that back of the arm, Woo. that tricep muscle catching on fire. Three, two, one, and break. All right, next up we have a sumo deadlift pulse. I'm gonna use dumbbells for mine. No dumbbell for me, just my body weight. We're gonna start with our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Slight point out on those toes. I'm gonna sit back, weight in my hips. Now all the way down and I'm gonna pulse. It's only about a two to three inch or four to five centimeter oh, range man. of motion. We're just gonna stay down there. Ready and begin. Burning out that backside with this one. Feel that weight in your hips. Feel those glutes, hamstrings, quads. Oh yeah. All working together. You don't want to be falling back onto your heels and you don't want to be coming forward onto your toes. We want to drive through that midfoot, that middle of your foot, keeping your back straight, shoulders back. You don't have much left, I promise. 10 more seconds. Come on, right to the end, try. Burn it out. Come we're, on. We're in it together. Three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent. Let's work on our back next. We're going to need light dumbbells for a Dumbbell, straight arm, reverse fly. Go when light. I say light, I mean light. If you don't yeah. have light, water bottles, soup cans will do it. Bend over 45 degree angle, palms facing one another. Pull those arms back, dumbbells back, squeeze the middle of your back. Squeeze those shoulder blades like you're trying to squash something in between those shoulder blades. Perfect analogy. 30 seconds, ready, hit it. Arms stay straight. It's not a, we're not flying trying to take off the ground though, so we wanna make sure we're doing it under control here. Back stays straight, head stays in line with your spine on this one. Exhale as you bring those dumbbells up. Woo! Every time, it's like me, pretend my finger's in the middle of your back and you're trying to pinch my finger back there. Come on, almost there. Come oh on, we're gosh. feeling it too. Five seconds, three, two, one, and break. Oh Excellent. my gosh. All right, next up, we're gonna need one dumbbell or no dumbbell. Or no dumbbells. For a split stance <laughs> chop. I'm gonna start with my, I have a lighter dumbbell, left foot's in the front. I'm going to grab that dumbbell on both sides. And I'm gonna reach back to my right side, same side of that leg that's back. And now I'm going to chop diagonal overhead, come back down. So again, following that dumbbell, doing both sides here, starting with right, the back to the right side. Ready and begin. Both knees stay bent on this one. Feel that rotational, functional movement here. 
Again, working everything from our legs to our shoulders and core. All getting hit on this one. Lots of oxygen coming in. Breathe. Not much, and we're gonna switch sides. And two, one, break. Switch sides, same move now. Ready, begin. Again, control all the way through. Ooh. Ooh. Breathe. We're also working our balance, I'm sure you can tell. Oh yeah. Not much left. And five, four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, feeling good. <laughs> All right, no weights needed for the next one. We're gonna do a wall push-up. So find a wall. If you don't have a wall, you can use a countertop or a couch. Now I'm gonna place my hands in line with my chest. If you're really good at push-ups, you can do these on the floor. Now the closer my feet are, the easier it is. Further back, the harder it is. We got 30 seconds of a push-up, however you wanna do it. Ready, and go. And I don't want you to bring your face to the wall, but instead bend those elbows. Make sure you're bending the elbows and that's how you're getting your chest closer to the wall. And notice how our elbows are flaring at a 45 degree angle relative to our body. And that's what you want on a push-up. That's right, we don't want them flared out in line with our, our neck or our shoulders. It's gonna be too much. Uh, too much strain. Strain on our shoulders, that's oh, right. Yeah. This is what I was looking for. Grind them out here. 30 seconds, as many as you can get. Not much left here. In five. Four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, if you're going at the right pace, those wall push-ups are excellent. Oh yeah. All right, we need, I'm gonna use two dumbbells for this one, light dumbbells. I'm gonna use body weight here. We're gonna do a split knee drive. We're gonna get back into that split stance. My right leg is gonna be back. Now, I'm gonna have my left arm back, right arm is up, so opposite side. Now, I'm gonna bring my right knee and my left arm up at the same time, back down, repeat. Again, dumbbells for a little optional resistance if you'd like it. Ready, and begin. So we're leaning over that lead leg. That's keeping that knee bend throughout. Our core is working to bring that one knee up into our chest. Oh yeah. Shoulders are working. And then that lead leg acting as a stabilizer is getting a lot of work as well. Nice explosive move. Head staying in line with that spine. Not much, and we're gonna switch sides here. In two, one, zero. Same move, opposite side, switch it up, and begin. Again, we got opposite side, arm and leg working together. Just like when we're running, right? The opposite sides, working in tandem. Let's go, Tribe, come on, push through. I know you're getting tired. We're liking it. We're liking it. We feel that change happening right now. Oh yeah, we, not we, much left. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna keep Ooh. my dumbbells. Again, I'm gonna stick with the no dumbbells here. Hands are at my chin. I'm gonna punch with my right leg, and at the same time, front kick with my left. Alternate now, left punch, right kick. Hands come back to the chin after every repetition. You decide if you want extra resistance. Ready, and begin. You also decide how high you want to kick that leg, depending on your comfort level with kicks, your flexibility, your balance. All of those things are going to play a factor. But keep moving. Yep, don't it's about stop. The intensity here. Come on. Let's keep that heart rate up. Right to the end. You got it. Every punch and kick is getting you that much closer to your goals. Let's go. Come on, not much left. What are you working on? Think about it right now. In what are five, those goals? Four, three, two, one, and break. All right. This one we both need two dumbbells for. It's a combo move. We're going to go dumbbell hammer curl into a front squat. Dumbbells are at my side to start. Here's my hammer curl. Palms stay facing one another. They come up and do a rack position. Here's my front squat all the way down, up. Dumbbells back down. Repeat. Woo. Ready, set, <laughs> go. Curl, squat, dumbbells down. Curl, squat, dumbbells down and repeat. Driving through that midfoot, stay in balance. Not falling on the heels. 
Not coming on the toes. Nice and controlled with that dumbbell hammer curl. That's it. Come Notice on, right our here. Elbows are staying into our body. Right here, right now. Come on, right to the end. Come on, not much left. Finish strong. You got it, you got it. In five, four, three, two, one, and stop. You did it. Yes, there Excellent. it is. Excellent. High five to you out there, folks. Excellent work today. Way to push through to oh, the yeah. very end, assuming you finished and didn't just fast forward to the end. I know you didn't fast forward. No, you, you, that's no. not what you do. You no. do what you say. You finished it. Yeah. Let's move into our cool down. We're going to go down to the floor, work on our hips here with a lying figure four. So let's go ahead and lie down on our backs. I'm going to bring my right leg up onto my left knee. And then I'm going to reach through my legs, grab the back of my left leg. If you can't quite reach, you can use a towel or a band. And we're going to pull it towards you because it's really this leg that we want to stretch. And you feel that stretch throughout your hip as you bring it close to you. If you feel more comfortable, you can bring your head up off the floor or keep your head on the floor. Oh just, my goodness. It's just a preference thing. I need to focus on my mobility a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, this one uh, will, will definitely test out those hips. For three, two, one. All right, switch it up. Same move, opposite side here. Again, reaching through, pulling towards you, and relax and breathe. Just a static stretch, so we're just holding here. And with all of our static stretches, we want to get to about 85, 90% of what we're capable of. Feeling a good stretch, but not like pulling the muscle away from the bone. Good little happy medium in there. Bringing that heart rate down with some nice controlled breathing for three, two, one zero. All right, we're gonna come on up onto my knees for the next one. We're gonna do a kneeling hip flexor stretch. So 90 degree angle at my back leg, 90 degree angle here in my front one. Hands are on my hips. Now I'm gonna squeeze my abs and my glutes at the same time. Poke them, they better both be tight. Now keep them tight. Now we're gonna slightly come forward. And that's all it's gonna take to feel that stretch in that back leg your hip flexor and your quadricep, that big thigh muscle in front. And again, if you feel you're safe, self able to come all the way up here, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out and say that your your abs and your glutes aren't tight. Keep them tight, and it won't take much range of motion. For three, two, one. All right, switching it up. Same side or same move, opposite side, I should say. And begin again. Abs tight. Glutes tight and come forward. Our quads got a lot of work in today. A little squats, kicks, everything we did. Let's give them a little restorative work here. Show them some love. Keep breathing. For three, two, one, zero. All right, next up, we got to move for your backside, your posterior chain. We're going to do a downward dog. I'm going to do mine from up on my feet. So I'm going to come up on my feet and drive my hips back, keep my shoulders relaxed. And I'm going to do mine from a kneeling position. I want to keep my hips over my knees. So you might need to manipulate your hands up just a little further to not turn this into a child's pose. You decide which variation is appropriate for you. Just relaxing here. Taking one quick moment to just Give yourself some affirmation. You did it. You made it. Your workout's done. Whatever else you have going on in your life, you put that aside here for today's workout. All the excuses you could have come up with for not moving today, you didn't listen to them, and you showed that discipline to get your workout in today. We're proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself. For five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Oh. Nice work. Ah, speaking of discipline, one of the things that will help you stay on track and show up for those repeated workouts is a complete program. And we have complete programs available for all fitness levels and goals, whether you're trying to uh, gain muscle, lose weight, just kick butt at life, whatever it is, we got you covered. That's right. Those programs can be found on the HasFit app, which can be downloaded to any device that you have. 
And you can also support us by stopping by our store, picking up some HasFit gear, like a sweet t-shirt, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. And don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.